I've been uh, shuffling some things around in my hangar. I had to sell a lot of things to get the 890 jump, which should be coming in a patch very soon. What did it cost? Everything. That's right, it cost almost everything. <laughs> but the 890 jump is in my hangar. And in the hangar of the 890 jump, you can actually fit this ship right here, apparently, which is the Anvil Arrow. So let's take a closer look at that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Montoya. The Anvil Arrow is the new wish uh, light fighter in Star Citizen. The title previously held by the Gladius as being light fighter has been taken over by this ship, which is the newer, fresher model. I thought we'd take a look around this ship now and uh, give you a quick look at it. I've been wanting to try this ship out for the longest time. And uh, thanks to having some store credit left over, I thought we would pick it up and take a look at it. So let's begin right in the front and uh, work our way around the back. It is a small ship, it is a light fighter, but don't let the size fool you. It does have three size three weapon hard points. So if you fly with fixed weapons, this thing is deadly. Now I have changed a few things. Well, you know, let's get there. First of all, let me remove my face so you can see everything. Removing my face from this video will make it 50% better. And also I seem to get more likes on my video. So like this video right now, if you want me to just <laughs> remove my face from it. Here we go. Isn't that better? It is, right? Here we go. Now, the reason I wanted to try this ship out is a newer model. It is fresher in the terms of design. And I was curious to see how this compares to the Gladys, which I've flown in the past, but uh, I got rid of the ship a long time ago. So starting with the front, uh, it looks like we have some lighting there those nice led lightings and uh what is probably i don't know if this is for refueling but uh, definitely an antenna of sorts let's work our way around clean sleek design actually just do this on the sunny side my ship is serial number 3316 test number serial 3316 and uh the textures look great you can see that the paint and the bolts. Those are the same bolts we have in my IKEA furniture, by the way. Work our way around there. Danger to the intake. I love the fact that you spot some writing somewhere and you walk up to it. And it just gets sharper and sharper the closer you walk into it. Don't you love that in Star Citizen? Thrust over there. Some more lighting, I assume. And obviously these wings do pivot upwards. You can see the hinges and the, the actual design in the hinge themselves. They've spared no detail into doing everything here. But uh, let's talk about these hard points. All right, this ship does come with three size three hard points. Now what I've done is put gimbals and size two weapons on them. Now these here do come stock, but there is one on top of the ship, which was a turret. I replaced this turret with this weapon here too. And uh, I'll show you why when we take it into, we'll, we'll do some pirate swarm in a bit. And I'll show you why, because I love the auto aim feature. Let's look, take a look at the landing gear here. Whoever designs the landing gear, you deserve every cent you get. It is beefy. And I love the pistons and the materials. Everything works so perfectly. And when it, we take off in a second, I'll show you. And there's my footprints. Size 13, obviously. Footprints, yes. Thruster. Single engine. And can you, you can actually see the thrust coming out of there. That looks so good. You'll see when you hit boost, it kind of turns to a purple kind of tinge. Tail section flips up too. Obviously, this side, same as the other side. Let me take a step back. You can see on top there. Now, the hard point on top originally came with a size 2 turret. Now, don't get scared off here. A size 2 turret needs to hold two size 1 weapons. Now, I don't want two size 1 guns up there. I want the same gun everywhere, all the way around. I'm not flying fixed, I'm flying with gimbaled weapons. So I took the same kind of gimbal and the same weapon on the wings and stuck it on top there. And uh, when I go into Pirate Swarm in a bit, you'll see why. So overall, very sleek, sharp looking ship. Let's jump inside. Let's watch the, uh, the animation for the ladder coming down.
And I love the way these screens seem to uh, move forward. Canopy closes. Nice canopy, lots of visibility. And let's power. Let's take a look around the cockpit here. Warm mood lighting, kind of RNG over there. Engines on off, flight ready. I like that Hotas. Kind of close to the, the Warthog. In fact, you know what? That is exactly like the, the Warthog that I'm holding. Almost. All these buttons are correct. Very cool. Okay, let's go flight ready. Anvil Aerospace, all systems online. Nice. Very nice. And let's go to an external view and take her up for a spin. The first thing you'll notice is how fast and agile. Well, first of all, I love watching the landing gear decompress on takeoff. Watch us. Here we go. Well, that was a bit fast, but it does happen. And uh, on your keyboard, if you push N, then we'll retract the gear. Everything slots in nicely. Let's take a look at that. Look at the way the gear just folds in perfectly, like Tetris. It's a small detail, but I do appreciate the time and effort that the artist did take to make that happen. Uh, another thing I want you to notice here, and this is a nice touch, watch when the wings lock down, they kind of lock into place, but also when they go up, see that little bounce? I'll show you again. Watch when they come into the, the top locked position and they kind of bounce into and lock into place. It gives you a sense of weight. It gives you a sense of mass. It's such a small, tiny detail. Yet, if you don't pay attention, you'll probably miss it. But it really does make a difference in the feeling of the movement carrying some weight. So let's take her out for a spin. And uh, one of the first things you're going to notice here is the speed at which this thing rolls. It is fast. Let's go. Acceleration, blazing fast. But more so, watch how it rolls. Look at that. It's like a spinning top. It rolls on a dime. This is what makes light fighters so good. Now it does have two size one shields. So not the best, most powerful shields. They're military grade though. It's not gonna stand up in a fight against much bigger fighters, but you can, with this maneuverability, get out of trouble very fast. Very maneuverable. And uh, you'll be able to stay out of the crosshairs and get out of trouble very fast in almost any situation, which is obviously what the light fighter is for. So acceleration, blazing fast, roll speed, amazing. Gonna make you throw up, really. And uh, overall, handling is very, very impressive, what you'd expect of a ship this size. Now, let's go into some pirate swarm and uh, shoot some things. Here we are in Pirate Swarm. I'm going to take on a couple of Auroras here. Initiated. Would help if I turned the, everything on first. Aerospace, all systems online. There we go. All right, so if you are concerned are about the weapons, uh, how to use them, R is the key. Notice how it says gimbal, fixed, and assist. I'm going to go for assist. I want to show you how this works. Those of you who've been ignoring combat all this time, this is what you want to do. It makes it so much easier to shoot things down. So let's wait for a target. And around 2,000 meters is when we can start engaging. Listen to, listen to the weapons. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, that sounds so good. All right, let's take him out. Oh, it's taking some hits there. So that uh, Aurora was pretty sturdy. Love the sound of the weapons. Yeah, you're going down. Okay, much faster. Okay, let's do the next one with no missiles at all. 
the handling is really, really good. Uh, if you've tried the heavier fighters, they are much more sluggish, obviously. This thing turns on a dime. It is fast. I love the engine effects when you boost also. Next target, another Aurora. Okay, all weapons this time, uh, no missiles. And, okay, pretty quick. You saw how fast that went. So overall, this is a lot of fun to fly. And uh, for 75 bucks, definitely fun. But keep in mind, there is no cargo if you do buy the ship. See how fast this guy goes down. Very quick. You saw that. I was hitting him head on. Went down very fast. Okay, we, here we have a, a Cutlass. Let's see how fast this guy goes down. I'm actually flying in reverse at the moment. Auto aim doing his job very nicely. You see this guy's already taking a lot more hits. Down pretty fast too. So that is really fun. A lot of fun. As far as light fighters goes, I, I think this is prettiest. Gladius owners forgive me. I have owned a Gladius in the past, uh, but this just feels newer. It feels zippier. And uh, those three size two weapons doing the job very nicely. Uh, overall, I do like this. Uh, will this keep a permanent spot in my fleet? I think it just may. For those engagements where you need to get in and out of something very quickly, this ship does seem to do the job very well. And uh, for the price, it's not bad at all. So you saw what it does. Give me your thoughts. Are you an Anvil Arrow owner? Would you consider getting one based upon the stats it has right now? Uh, keeping in mind, it also folds up with wings and fits into most things. I think the 890 Jump will definitely be able to fit one of these or maybe two of them inside it, which will make it very interesting. Uh, and uh, if you enjoy this video, as always, please thumbs up, comments below about your thoughts on the Anvil Arrow. Let me know what kind of ship you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.